Hi friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Hao and today I am going to be doing a favorites with you all. If you're new here, I make videos about fashion, beauty, tech. This is going to be a chattier video. I've picked two items from each of these categories and hopefully you find something that you like. Let's just dive right in. I've really been loving the Viore hair and conditioning bars. I've been on the hunt for a good shampoo and conditioner for a very long time now. And every time I would switch to a different shampoo, my hair would get greasy right away or it just wouldn't work with my scalp very well. I even tried to go the shampoo bar route. I could never find one that wasn't super waxy or one that lathered really well until Viore, and this is not sponsored, I just got this in PR. Their shampoo bar is so, so good. It lathers so beautifully, makes my hair feel very clean. It also comes in eco-friendly packaging. Scent that I got was the Hidden Waterfall. It is very light. There's barely a scent there, which I really like, but there's enough of a scent so you know your hair is clean. I think I've been using it for a month now. There's still a lot of it left. Mason actually uses it too, and I wash my hair every other day, and I think he does too. So a little bit really goes a long way with that shampoo bar. The conditioner bar on the other hand I like it I don't love it it is a little slippery uh, not so much greasy or oily or anything it makes my bathtub slippery so if I'm bathing Barry for instance he'll like kind of slip and slide around everywhere it does a fairly decent job at conditioning my hair the bamboo tray is not great it's pretty big it developed mold on it in the first week definitely would not recommend you get that at all. I just use a plastic dish for both bars right now. I am happy to say that my hair has fallen out way, way less since I started using this product. I just showered three hours ago. I don't use any hair products in my hair after I shower. This is the result. And now they're sold at Sephora, which, you know, that speaks for itself. I do have a link down below if you want to check it out. Again, not sponsored. I just really like it. My next thing in hair is the Dyson Airwrap. I have the long version. This comes with six different attachments. It has two curling barrels, one small, one large, and those switch directions when you twist the top. It also comes with a smoothing and blow drying head. It comes with two brush heads. This one is my favorite one. It helps me detangle. And then it also has a round brush head, which I also like to use sometimes. I used to use the Revlon blow dryer brush, but ever since I got the Dyson for myself for Christmas, I've not looked back. I love that you have multiple heat settings. It's not super loud. And I also got a stand for it on Amazon and it just looks really cute in my vanity. I got the clear one. Just makes doing my hair super fast and easy. Something that I don't like about it though is the curling aspect. Not because it doesn't produce good curls, the curls are okay. I have not taken the time to really learn how to do it in the most efficient way. I just don't use it. I used it maybe like twice. That's a me problem, but I am gonna make it a point to learn how to use it because why buy this all-in-one device if I am not using it to its fullest potential? I only have two things and I'm mixing in beauty with skincare. So the first thing is the CauseRx AHA BHA Clarifying Treatment Toner. I love this stuff. I just ran out and I just purchased a new one, which is already more than a third of the way empty. I like that it is a spray nozzle. It makes toning so easy. I never have to mess with cotton pads or anything. I just pop out the shower or finish washing my face, spray, and then put on my my essence and it's just such a breeze. Why doesn't every toner come with a spray nozzle? Another thing that I really love about this product is that it is non-drying. A lot of the times the HA BHA products can be kind of drying on my skin. If anything, it really balances out my complexion and I've noticed that I've gotten way less acne because of it. I use it every single day, morning and night, unless I'm having a bad mental health day and forget to wash my face, but you know what I mean. I I honestly have no cons for that product, so I'm gonna just move on to the next one. My Summer Fridays lip balm in Cherry. This has been my emotional support lip balm ever since I discovered it. Everything about this lip balm is so good. I like the matte packaging on it. I really like the tip. It feels really sturdy. 
This applicator is amazing. It's so squishy and it hugs your lips in the most comfortable way. I've had to repurchase it twice now. First time I was getting my makeup done and my makeup artist, her kid stole it out of my bag and like started putting it on herself. I don't know, I'm just kind of weird about germs and she did it a couple times so I just didn't want to use it again so I had to buy a new one. Then I had it for a while and Barry freaking ate it while I was playing the guitar. I actually have a clip of that. Barry? Oh, Barry! No. So I had to buy it again. <laughs> so this is my third one and I didn't even use all of it, which is so sad because these things are not cheap. They're $25, but they're so worth it. I used to use the Laneige one, but now after using this, when I go back to the Laneige one, the Laneige one feels like it's sitting on top of my lips and not actually sinking into them like this one does. And I've also tried the Ole Henriksen one. That one is very sticky. I don't like sticky lip balms. I don't really understand the hype. This has been the best one I've tried. When I put this on, it gives me the most natural pink lip color ever. I just cannot recommend the Summer Fridays lip balm enough. Totally worth the hype. This first product is a two-part product and it is the Cat Bird Festoon Bracelet with the Petite Bite the Hand Charm. And I actually got these as a Valentine's Day gift from Mason. I've always wanted something from Cat Bird. I really like their Forever Bracelets, but I can't really have anything zapped on me. Because of my acting career, I do need to be able to change in and out of things and having an accessory on me forever is not gonna work out, uh, which is ironic because I have tattoos which keeps me from getting jobs but we're not talking about that right now I like that it is thicker than the other forever bracelets but it's not too thick either it looks very dainty still because of the way it's made it sparkles really nicely I just think it's super adorable it's lightweight I did almost lose my charm once that was when I was wearing a cardigan so this class actually got hooked onto a thread and opened up the bracelet unhook and my charm fell out. I was looking everywhere for it. I ended up finding the charm outside. The bracelet like kind of slipped into my hand so I didn't lose it but I was gonna be really sad if I lost this charm. If you're wondering why I got the bite the hand charm it's because I am a huge Boy Genius fan. I love Phoebe Bridgers. I love Lucy. I love Julian. Fun fact I actually met Phoebe Bridgers on a hike once <laughs> which is insane. They recently won three Grammys and I love this charm. Okay, the next item in fashion is my Coach bucket bag. This is the Dakota bucket bag in the large size. This thing is cool. By the way, I grew up with my grandma, aunts, and my mom always wearing Coach. If you're Vietnamese American with immigrant parents, you'd understand the love for Coach. This is just beautiful. The glove tan leather is so smooth. It comes with two straps, a short strap, a long crossbody strap. It has brass buckles and the inside is this beautiful suede material. I just throw all my crap into this bag. This is the bag I keep next to the door where I will like take things out of it to fill my other shoulder bags. Otherwise it all ends up in here and I can just take all my stuff with me. It also has a snap closure right here and it has feet. Look at these feet. Those are some nice sturdy feet that keep the bag from getting dirty. I will say that I wish it was slightly larger because I wanna be able to put my laptop in it. And I can, it just sticks out. Actually, let's try it right now. I should probably get rid of some stuff. Nope, I'm just gonna scoot it all to the side. There's so much room in this bag. There you go, holds my laptop. So if it was just a little bit taller, it would cover the top of my 13 inch MacBook Air, but I'm not mad about it. And I still do take it around like that. The first thing that I have been loving is this Freerite Alpha. If you are not familiar with this very niche company, you're probably like, what the hell is this? Basically, it is a drafting tool where you can just write. You can't check your emails. It's supposed to be a distraction-free writing device. They have several different devices. They have one that looks just like this. They also have a typewriter. They have a traveler, which is a portable version. I have tried the traveler. The Traveler uses laptop keys, which are like scissor switch keys, whereas this one uses low profile mechanical keys. And it's just so satisfying. Listen. 
I also love that the keys are swappable. I swapped out most of the keys for the XVX low profile keys in the white color. And this is what mine looks like now. I did make some labels to cover up the backspace and the enter key because these are just two shift keys and they were the only ones that fit into these spots. I forgot to tell you what I even bought this for. So I use this to journal. I switch my journaling method a lot from pen and paper to e-note devices to just typing on my notes app. I have been journaling on this thing for about a month and it is my favorite thing to do. It's so satisfying and I can just type so fast compared to writing. I just spill all my thoughts, whether they're stupid, whether I'm repeating myself, I can just think and type so much faster and get everything out so much faster. So it's been really cool to just wake up in the morning, journal, turn it off, and then at night, turn it back on, journal some more. It also has a little kickstand right there. Your palms rest right here. It's pretty much the same size as my laptop. Laptop, laptop free write alpha. The free write alpha is a little bit longer on this end and a little bit shorter right here. Mind you, I do have a case on my laptop and they're not like too thick. I did switch out the keys because I didn't like how flat the other keys were. These have a groove and it just makes typing so much easier and satisfying. Some things I don't particularly like about it. One is that it has special keys that I can't swap out because I would have loved to have my whole keyboard be consistent. Two is that this screen has no backlight, so you kind of can't type in the dark. This might be a very niche complaint, but like, please just put in a freaking backlight. Like it's not that hard. I don't know, actually, I don't make these products, but some of their products have backlights and some don't, and it just makes no sense. And it's really disappointing. I digress. Another thing I don't like, it has a very small screen. It's not too bad, honestly. I think it bothers me more because there's not a backlight so I would have loved to see the screen be maybe twice as large as it is and the last thing is that it is really freaking expensive it's three hundred dollars three hundred and fifty almost four hundred after tax the typewriter version is like seven hundred bucks so is the traveler version and I just think that that is so expensive obviously I still bought it because it works and it serves the purpose that I bought it for but I just feel like because the company doesn't have very much competition they you know can get away with charging the amount that they do for these products and that's just kind of disappointing to see we're gonna move on now to my favorite thing that I got this quarter is my DJI Pocket 3 camera. I got the creator combo. There's so many videos on the specs and the unboxing and everything you need to know about this camera on YouTube now. So I won't get into that too much. I just wanna do a very brief pros and cons list of it. I'm using it right now. So if you are wondering if you can use it for talking head videos and not just vlogging, yes, you can. I would say the quality is really good. It is a one inch sensor, so it's gonna be pretty similar to using a Sony ZV-1. It's so easy to use. It is so small and compact. I bring it everywhere with me. It's smaller than my phone. The creator combo is just amazing. This tripod and this hand grip, use it all the time. Mike, using it right now. This portable charger grip, I use that all the time too. What I don't use though is this case. It's actually kind of big and also this case i do not use this if you've seen enough videos about it you know that it's just not the best the gimbal will move around because it's laying on its side so i actually tried out a bunch of aftermarket gimbal covers i got them all on aliexpress so they were very cheap so i have these three cases right here this one is a silicone -y case it's just okay it protects the gimbal pretty well taking it on and off is very nerve-wracking you have to like pull the case over the gimbal and then you feel like you might rip the gimbal off. Not my favorite. This one is my second favorite. It works as intended. You just open it up. You lay the pocket three in there and then you close it up and the gimbal is protected all around. But my favorite one is this one. The gimbal is protected on the front and the sides, but not the back. But that's okay because it can't move from the back. You just literally 
put the camera in and I throw this everywhere. I throw it in my bag. It's also hard, much harder plastic than this one. This one's kind of a flimsy plastic. And then it also originally came with a little snap closure right there, but I broke those off because I liked how convenient it was to just grab my pocket three out and then use it right away. And also it fits into my bags a lot smoother. This is the winner for me. Obviously everyone's different and has different needs, but this is my favorite one. I I actually don't really use the wide angle lens for the pocket three. I find it inconvenient to take out and then stick on when I need it. So I extend my arm a little bit more, but I've found that the focal length is fine without the wide angle lens for my vlogging. So I guess that was more of a review on the creator combo than it was the pocket three itself. But honestly, the pocket three is just so good. The only complaint I have is that it doesn't take very good photos, especially if you're a photographer for, but for videos, it is exceptional. It's an amazing vlogging device. I think it does really well for talking head too. And even just vertical content, it kills. My next item is this Suri toothbrush. This was sent to me as well as a gift. Such a good toothbrush. The toothbrush heads are made of corn, so they're eco-friendly. You can send them back in when they're all used up. It's just like really sleek. It has two modes, a soft mode and a hard mode. It feels really good in the hand and it charges with these three pins underneath onto the charger or you can put it into the case which charges it and it also has an option to sanitize it. My favorite part about it is that it has a mirror mount. So I actually have this mounted onto my bathroom mirror and it's so convenient to just pop it up there, take it off. I am thinking about getting another mount just to put it in the wall of my bathtub because sometimes I brush my teeth in the shower. Very ingenious product, so well thought out. The colors are super cute. They have white, black, a blue. I chose this green. This is the winter fern. The brush head is a little hard. I don't know if that's because it's made of corn, but it's actually like kind of hard. I had to like get used to brushing with it. And the tongue scraper back here, it's like barely coming out. So it's pretty useless, honestly. But you know what? You can't have it all. I also have a code down below if you want to use it. But again, not sponsored. I just really like it. Okay, my next thing in home is this pillow. It kind of looks gross right now, but don't worry. You can take the cover off and throw it into to the wash. I've always been a side sleeper for as long as I can remember. I sleep like a little curled up shrimp. I always have a pillow in between my legs when I sleep. It's kind of convenient. I'm on a bed right now. This is how you're supposed to use it. And it's nice because it's strapped onto your leg so it doesn't really move around in the middle of the night. My back just feels so much better in the morning after sleeping with this. I got this as a secret Santa gift and I had no idea how impactful it would be on my life. I bring this with me every single time I go on a trip where I'm sleeping over somewhere. It comes in a couple of different colors and it's also really cheap. I think it's under 20 bucks, but it's the best thing I've found so far for the very specific condition in which I sleep in. All right, thank you for watching till the end if you did. I know that was kind of long. If you liked the video at all, please consider giving it a thumbs up because that really helps out my channel. I'd also love to have you here if you're not already subscribed. Feel free to leave me a comment if you have any questions or just want to say hi. I do try my best to read and respond to all of them. With that said, I hope you're having a wonderful day or night wherever you are in the world, and I will see you in the next one.